back for the final segment of the uh, of the closed fist. This is Pasquale O. Giuseppe, Ivan the Impaler. I'm Russ. That is Joey. Will still in the still in the principal's this office. This one's for you, Will. Oh. Hey now. Hey now. Uh, talking about Survivor Series and uh, quite a change going into the card, though. Uh, Jinder Mahal all of a sudden got like choke chained out of the uh, out of out of one of the main event matches. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, uh, Jinder uh, Mick Pimples is what I like to call him. He's the a Roy Haraja. Looking good character. Though. I mean, uh, he's, he's he has the look. He, is, like, he has the prototypical look that you want for a right. wrestler. Yes. Just a, he's the guy that would that would have the best match on the card because he makes the most money. Oh my goodness! So going over the card, let's see here: uh, the Miz versus Curtis. With Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas versus Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's really come a long way in a, uh, in a fairly short time, I think. Um, They've always been hiring him, even back to NXT, when he was booked as a monster. You yeah. Know, winning matches. In the, um, I mean, I kind of think, I, I would love to see Baron Corbin win. I think there's a lot of politics are at play here. Cause yeah. Suppose it's, yeah, politics, m- pro wrestling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baron Corbin kind of down on the wrong side of people supposedly this yeah. this summer and it's really ironically the Miz was on the wrong side of people when he st- first got in the locker room I mean the regulars oh, hated him a lot of hearsay here yeah I'm going I'm, I'm going well, internet chatter <laughs> yeah a lot of internet chatter which I shouldn't do but um, I just think I just think the Miz is going to win but yeah. Yeah, he's, the, he's the bigger out of the two stars too yeah. I mean he, yeah. they're pushing the hell out of him over on Raw I'm going to pick the Miz the Miz I'm going to go Baron Corbin okay. just because you don't like the Miz I can't stand him I think he's a phenomenal heel I'm gonna, he's, don't, he's, don't make me bang my head on the table again phenomenal heel. isn't all of wrestling journalism except for a few people he said she said basically, basically just yes. you're basically <laughs> rumor and innuendo is another very famous uh, yeah. podcast, like Seth. now uh, an interesting match Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair I kind of like Charlotte here yeah I mean size advantage alone five feet of fury I just go politics. I think Billy on the flare thing, they're going to let yeah. Charlotte go over. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious with that one. Uh, the Shield uh, Sorry. versus the New Day. The two greatest super groups in wrestling history, according to WWE. No. Yeah. I hope Will didn't hear you with that. No, I don't. I don't believe it either. You know, leaving out the Horsemen and the Freebirds and all that. And the Blue World Order. Who can forget them? <laughs> um, just remember, though, New Day rocks. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. No, I, I think the, the Shield is going to... Just for the nostalgia reasons, nostalgia. I think I think so too. And that was one weird. And not to go off. No, no, the whole I'm weird. The weird thing about the whole Survivor Series, like people sticking up for their brand. New Day being faces, like going and invading another promotion. So they're they're faces for SmackDown, but they're heels for Raw. I mean, I don't know how much the fans they really buy into the whole brand split. Like almost if they're two separate leagues. I don't. Uh, I I don't. I think it's less and less. That, that they're buying into it. It's like, okay, uh, all the money's going into one pocket. Exactly, yeah. It's like, eh, mm. you know, okay. It's just finding a story where there's yeah. no story. It's but even if someone looks at it beyond the lay, like, uh, Triple H is the COO of the whole company, so why is he siding with Raw over SmackDown? I mean, because Stephanie, you know, all that. Yeah, it's, it's the whole brother-sister It's all about the t-shirt thing. Yeah, yeah, the t-shirt and the family. Yeah, it's all about the McMahon, so. Yeah, it's all about the <laughs> <laughs> And um, Triple H's need to still wrestle. Uh, and probably talent that needs to uh, serious makeover is uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. Big jar of mayonnaise. And, They're uh, still so awkward with each other after all this time. They can't even get an arm bump right. Like, that's <laughs> It, that's the part that bothers me, and just don't I know just part, Maybe that's just that. that's just a running gag between them. I'm, like, I'm hoping because yeah. they're really awkward. I think it's yeah, I think it's a running gag. But Cesaro's such a great worker. I oh, mean, he's, he's phenomenal. Just don't let him talk with that piece. He's phenomenal. Yeah. But how much is it downgrading him? You know, as a whole, I mean, eh. he's not a photogenic guy, and English is not his first language, so he's not going to go too high up he's, the ladder. He's, he's, he needs Paul Hammond back. Yeah, he does, but it's you know, <laughs> I just think there's still we well, a guy from Switzerland. We don't want to call him. <laughs> I think the mouthpiece does him wonders too. Uh, <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles. This would have been Ginger's match. It would. Then thank God it isn't for this reason. Um, oh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gin- Ginger's just he, he. You see him making mistakes and like. And, and, I know. Like, he, he, people are getting hurt, but you know, he has the. Oh, he if has you're flipping look. channels and you're, you're you see this guy. What is this guy all about? Right. Look at muscle. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, he's. I mean, uh, see where he came from to see where he turned out in such a short period of time. I think that's what it is. People are calling him and like, okay, how'd you go from? 
200 pounds, 300 pounds of pure muscle. If not an exercise. If, <laughs> <laughs> he never had a cheat day. Exactly. <laughs> but he's, he's, he, <laughs> I have, I've had plenty, <laughs> plenty of cheat days. Um, but uh, here's a guy, now if there's ever a guy that Vince, that a Vince guy is rammed down your throat, Jinder Mahal's it. Oh yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I don't understand the hate. I don't get. Uh, it. Well, part and part of it too. They were in the, they were going to do that huge tour of India, so they it's again money. Now it's Triple H versus him, which is going to be fantastic. And it's all one show instead of two shows. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. And yeah. then Triple H versus Roman yeah. and the other one, I believe. Yeah. So uh, you know, I mean, I, I think it was a great call. I think AJ Styles of all the indie guys, quotations indie guys to come into. WWE and getting the push that he has gotten is phenomenal. Yeah, you don't see him asking for his release. You know, yeah, he, yeah. He, thank God, because he is, um, in a word, phenomenal. He's always been a phenomenal yeah. talent, and the fa- and I'm glad to see him get that moment. You I know? remember the first time I turned on TNA and seeing him. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? But again, that's that's another guy. Like we talk about, family man, got a lot going on. Yeah. Like, am I gonna do my own thing still, yeah. or am I gonna right. finally yeah. get that that machine get behind me? I'm sure he's doing pretty well every other Thursday. So, yeah. You know. Hey, you know what? Too is like we talked about when we first originally started talking about the pre-scripted everything. You can tell he's not quite the same on the mic as he was when he had free reign over his character. Oh yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, it's just so forced. I mean, same thing with. Uh, uh, the other guys from Bullet Club. Uh, uh, yeah, Gallows and Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's so They're, forced. It's it's terrible, nerd. You know, but I I, I I hope Gallows and Anderson get their release soon because it's almost Are a travesty. They working on that? Is that what's going on? I I, I hope so because it, they it, can do so much better. It's a travesty with the what happened to those to, to those two. Um, Enzo Amore versus Kalisto. Uh, That's could, bathroom break. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Kali, uh, Kali's still so over the top. I mean, I just, I just can't relate to the character. And Enzo, um, I used to like him. I don't know. What can, you, about him. can you blame Neville for what he, for what he's doing? I can't blame him, but on a, on a professional level, you know, you're a wrestler. You, you don't decide who's winning and losing. Right. So, I mean, yeah. I, the, 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 ask, ask me what brain. Neville has up his sleeve in terms of future plans, I can tell you. Like, I, don't, I don't blame him. And he, he had a good run. Like, for six months, other than, like, a, no. uh, who was it? I think uh, Tazawa held the Cruiserweight title for about— Bless you. For, for, like a, <laughs> for, like a, for like a cup of coffee. Yeah, basically. But other than, <laughs> other than that, Neville held, Neville held the title for, like, six months, and he was featured, and— I mean, is, is it a matter of who is getting pushed? Is it a matter of, of all the guys to get the push? It's Enzo. I think that's probably, Enzo, he, he, has, he, he sells T-shirts. He does. He yeah. is a heel now. He's probably still selling T-shirts. And so again, I, if you're flipping the channel and Enzo's on your TV, are you going to stop and watch or are you going to keep going? You're going to stop and watch. Uh, this guy, uh, if, he's, if he's talking. A couple months ago, maybe. Uh, tra- <laughs> everybody loves a, loves a train wreck. Yeah. True. <laughs> and then, of course, we have two traditional Survivor Series matches. Uh, used to be top to bottom Survivor Series matches, but now. I miss those days. I know. Yes. And, you know what? I, too I, far I, away too. from Thanksgiving, too. Yeah. You know what? And it's, uh, you know, I, I remember the days when you had Team Hulkamaniacs versus uh, the, the Bobby Heenan's team, you know. Yeah, a bunch of just yeah. a bunch of dick guys thrown together. With yeah. Them, so. yeah, you know, but uh, there needed to be a story behind it. You, you had your two main guys had a story, and they picked their friends. I mean, yeah, that was exactly. all it was. Exactly. Yeah, you know, a team warrior. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, the names were always lame, too. You know, yeah, the, yeah, that would be a great show, just the bad Survivor Series names. <laughs> um, you know, Team Raw, the, the, we have a women's uh, Team Raw, Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, uh, Asuka, who's a, a, a one hell of a talent, yeah. uh, by the way, Sasha Banks and Bayley, buried, uh, versus Team SmackDown, <laughs> Becky Lynch, Carmella, Naomi, Tamina, and Natalia. And it, it doesn't Is strike it any interest to me. It, it really doesn't. It's kind of, it can try. I want, going off on, I agree. Um, going off on the tangent, as I always do, uh, I was talking to somebody. We, we, there should be two additional matches for Survivor Series. They should have the two worst workers from each brand. <laughs> <laughs> on the woman's side, it would be Alicia Fox against Tamina. And oh, on the wow. men's side, and again, Don't just, look at me when you're going just in over. terms of ring work, <laughs> Enzo Amore versus Ginger Mahal. Uh, oh, wow. Because you're, you're just two matches that stylistically would be trained. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to go down the road to Target and get a Ginger Mahal action figure. <laughs> it's going to go right in the, on the console of my car. The worst part is we liked them in the beginning, so, you know, because it was a different. It was kind of cool. It just ran too long. I See, think. maybe because I only watch the WWE on YouTube. Maybe that's right. why I'm, yeah. I'm a little higher on them than everybody else. Uh, the thing know. for me was the Punjabi prison match was just... 
that just ruined it's a it spectacle, for me. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Punjabi prism match. Yeah. That's where my allegiance fell with them. I'm like, I just can't do it anymore. It's. it's Hey, no. It's a step up from 3MB, though. Come on. A three, oh, no, my no, God. No, 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 Drew yeah. McIntyre this close to coming up uh, to the main roster with Heath Slater and, um, you know, and uh, Junior McPimples. And it's like you could have had 3MB running That's the show. That's going to be the WrestleMania. It's going to be the Shield versus 3MB. It could, there you go. You know what? Big, big story going on. Probably in the back of their mind. They, they haven't they forgotten that. They haven't, no. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Team Raw versus uh, Team SmackDown. Uh, uh, um, uh, Triple H is taking the spot uh, for Team Raw. And then uh, Cena's going over to Team SmackDown. Um, AJ re- replacing AJ Styles and whatnot. Um, Did you guys see the angle thing in the last the last uh, pay-per-view? Oh, yeah. How did yeah. he look? Like he's not wrestled in a while. I, I mean, watched a clip on him on Instagram, and I was in pain just watching it because he didn't look comfortable. Uh, and well, it, like, he even stands like, like he stands. His legs are crouched crouch when he stands a little bit, so you, you, so you can tell he's very. Yeah. He does, he, yeah. He looks. He doesn't that look obviously physically the same. They used him, but you know they're smart. They used him ju- judiciously. Yeah. Judiciously. Yeah. And um, I mean, he didn't. They didn't have him do anything that he was incapable of doing. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, and and he's like almost fifty. Yeah. And that's a, and. and and I, you know, when you, when you see the ages of some of these guys, you're like, holy cow. I still I remember seeing him in a dark show here in Buffalo. Yeah. Before the, uh, I think it was before a Raw, he came out when he first joined. Same thing with Rikishi. But, um, wow. yeah, I mean, and the rest of the, I mean, you have Angle, Strowman, Finn Balor, Joe for Team Raw. And then you have SmackDown, you have uh, Shane. Uh, I don't know if he's got anything to jump off of, but uh, oh, I'm geez, sure they'll find. Braun Strowman. Enough. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton, uh, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura. Or, uh, who's uh, no. they're underutilizing him hardcore he, he's he's far better than what thank you very him, much than, than what you're letting him do yeah i mean watching his matches in japan watching yeah. him here this is the fear of kenny omega if he comes over to the wwe obscurity right there because he's one thing in, in new japan he comes over here they're gonna do the same thing and automatically he's Sami Zayn. Uh, oh. Oh, that's oh, good. I'm glad you mentioned that because you, you know Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are being involved in some. Like, you figure the two of them, Bray Wyatt and Kane, all have to get involved somehow in all of this. But uh, I'm glad I, Kane's finally made a comeback. Yes. Yeah, but I, I'm liking. Um, I, I think I think it's I think it's going to be Team SmackDown, and then you're going to see Kurt Angle get fired on Raw. I mean, that's pretty much the way I'm looking at it. Word on the internet. Oh, oh here, we go. Yeah, oh, here, here we, go. we go. Is that they're, they're going to build? They're trying to build. Many people believe to Triple H versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. I thought so, it was be Triple H for Shane. From well, that's another thing. Here you have the you know, the brother. They're, they're facing off against this. This to me, if you would have if you would have told me two months ago, this would be the lineup. That would be the main focus. Yep. McMahon, Shane and. Triple H have never had an in-ring... See, so when you guys say in- Shane McMahon in the ring, I get the same yeah. feeling that you guys get when you ma- I mentioned Jitter Mahal. I am not on the point of where, what's he going to jump off of. Right? I agree, no, I agree. I agree. He had a great, like, like technically his match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania last year was pretty good, but it's just like, stop jumping. <laughs> well, you know, well, he's stupid. Well, you know, he... You're not New Jack. He gets... <laughs> you know, uh, new Jack. He gets... Well, you know, I, I, bet, I bet you when he walks by a building, he gets the shakes. <laughs> Does he do, Does he do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he does, like, he does, know, every time he looks at that Titan Tron. Of yeah. Like, just stop. Uh, but, uh, I hate to say that. But well, and who still makes metal garbage cans? They're going to be incorporated. But re- really, like, say, six months ago, a match, which would have, even a, a tag team match, Triple H versus Shane McMahon. And you know how they play up the McMahon storyline? This would be, like, right? a yeah. big thing. Yeah. But this is kind of like taking a backseat to the whole angle, the shield thing. And yeah. Uh, but uh, I want to thank both you guys for oh, coming thank you here for today. Yeah, thank you very uh, much, Great guys. to be here. Thank you. Uh, but uh, you have an event coming up? Yes. Uh, we are back at the Donovan Post on Saturday, January 13th. And as people have seen from the internet campaign, the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff, we have former ECW star C.W. Anderson coming, who's going to take on Dirty Rex Atkins. Uh, also, you're going to see Buffalo Bad Boy Brian Jennings versus Jake O'Reilly, myself, and Nikki the Fish Paradise, the Macaroni Mafia, are going to take on the Killer Steves. Uh, who, M- Matrix is going to be there, and we'll have some other guys. Uh, David Jacobs will be there again from Georgetown Fitness, so go to our Facebook page, check that out. Tickets will be available starting this week, um, and 
hopefully this should be another another great <laughs> resurrection, rejuvenation, reliving event for uh, BCW. We can, you, you could do a whole show on Rick Matrix. Yes, yes. You yes, know, I, yes. I had a chance to talk to, 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 to Rick Matrix, and he is an interesting character. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he, he's intense, and he's, he's a, you talk about old school philosophy. That's Rick. I, I was scared. And you can get up. <laughs> 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 I, I I've been to wrestle on a number of occasions, so you can think. Oh, talk about unprotected chair shots to the head. <laughs> that might be part of my problem these days. But uh, find BCW everywhere on social media at BCWWNY for all the information on that as well. All so right. thank you guys for having us. Oh, thank no you. problem. Hey, thank you guys, you guys are welcome. Any it's, anytime. It's cool to see the insight from the other side. Yep, you know? and thank you for uh, joining us.